In 2015, I warned this nation vehemently, consistently, because I saw the dangers ahead. And you can tell. The most gruesome season in the history of this nation is the last five years. We are lives have no value. Wanton killings here and there. Now they have faced the youth. And because they don't know who is next, they have a right to say no. <laughs> Amen. Enough. Shall we all rise to our feet? We have been having spates of um, protests across the nation. Amen. Amen. Every man has a right. legitimately so to express their displeasure and pains. Everybody has it. Amen. I kept quiet for a while because listen to me. Amen. In 2015 I warned this nation vehemently, consistently, because I saw the dangers ahead, and you can tell. Any system that has no value for human lives is irrelevant. If they were kids when they were youth, would they be where they are today? And now it will be a sacrilege to shoot the protesters who are not looting, who are not ravaging. It, it, we just need to look. I, I have been one of the few voices in the last five years telling these men and women until you push a goat to the wall you won't know it has teeth to bite. Yes, I'm here to say that you have the right yes, to say no. The youth have the right to say no. I wish they said it with me when I was shouting in 2015. I wish they did. They won't be in this trouble today. So I have my moral reason for being quiet. I was grievously attacked. Oh, you see, prophets are not opinion leaders. They are the mouthpiece of God. One of my daughters was reading through her 2015 note yesterday. You know what she concluded? Lord, there is nothing this prophet said that has not come. But God, have mercy. What you need is mercy. God won't send you one is through an angel. He sends one is through his apostles and prophets. I warn you. I, I warn you. There were some people. I, I warned you at the risk of my reputation. And I'm glad God has vindicated himself. Check the history of Nigeria. There has been no time of massive loss of lives than the last five years. Including slaughtering people in church. Mm. Mm. Including beheading a Khan chairman with video. My God! Well, the bad news for every wicked soul behind this wanton killing is that your judgment has come. Amen. 
Can I tell you this? I have never been asked by anybody under heaven to speak for anything in my life. I've only come forth at all times speaking. Don't say the Lord. Yes, Amen. Amen. And I tell you, man is temporal. Only God is eternal. No man can see the end of God. It's God that will see the end of every man. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your two hands and ask God, have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on our nation. Let this one time killers come to an end. Secure the destiny of our youth. Secure the destiny of their parents. Everybody pray. Nigeria needs the mercy of God for walking away from prophetic warnings. Nigeria needs the mercy of God. Precious name, we have prayed. Yeah. None of your sons and daughters shall be wasted. Yeah. The mercy of God will cover the length and breadth of Nigeria. Yeah. When the Bible says, when the wicked rules, the people mourn. There is no other graphic illustration than what you have had in Nigeria. I said one time, nothing is working. Eh? No, what is working? What is working? What is working? Thank you, Jesus. Never bother yourself when you find them speak against me. Those who did yesterday are no more. Don't. I'm saying the mind of God. And one billion devils can't stop me on the way. Relax yourself. Relax yourself. Relax yourself. Please understand that we own this nation together. No one owns this nation more than another. Whether you are from Northwest or Southwest or East West, wherever you may be from, you don't own this nation more than any other person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm just told that the uh, protest is now around the Ojori and uh, Toge. Amen. But relax. We share the same feelings. We needed this evil, so my sense, to stop. Yes, 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 Everybody wants it to stop. Too many hungry people on the street. Everybody wants it to stop. We have no other country. This is the only one we have. And we must secure it. Amen. We must preserve it. Amen. In partnership with Jesus, we must pre preserve it. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. so shall it be.